Necron 99. Alright, hey, what's up guys? It's uh, 99. I'm uh, back again. This time I'm going to be showing you how to set up MIDI inside Beatmaker 2 for other audio apps so that you can control other uh, like synthesizers or drum machine apps. Uh, so let's go ahead and load up Beatmaker 2. Okay, we're going to go ahead and open a new project. This time we're going to be opening up a keyboard sampler. Uh, I apologize for the audio because I'm using the on-camera mic since the battery in my lab died. So it may sound a little roomy. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and open up an empty preset. And what you're going to notice here is, or what we're going to click on here is the cog icon right there. And that takes you to the info page. And in here, you see the MIDI setup button. Click on that, and you see your basic setup here. And what you're going to need to do is turn on MIDI out. Make sure the clock send is remains on also like that. Uh, you can send, you can turn on MIDI through also if you want. I'm going to go ahead and X out, X out again, and on this particular keyboard it has its own set of personal MIDI settings. So I'm going to go in there. And I'm going to make sure this one is set to 1. And my input, I'm going to set that to 1 also. So here I set it to 1. My output channel, instead of being on all or omni, I'm going to set that to 1. Okay, so I'm going to close that out. Now I'm going to load up the keyboard. The keyboard's empty. You see where I tap. There's no presets loaded. It says empty up here. Back out. Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and load up, um, let's load up Animo. And right here, we're at the default preset on Animog. I'm just going to go ahead and load a, um, let's load an effect. It has lots of cool articulations. Okay, so now that we got that loaded, you can see the on the screen. Okay, let's go to the Setup tab up here. And now you're on your MIDI tab here. I already set it to 1. It normally defaults to Omni, so I'm going to set the input channel to 1. Output channel set to 1 also. And here you can see that Beatmaker 2 is already selected as your input and your output for MIDI. So I'm going to leave that. What you want to make sure you do for Animog in particular is go to configuration and make sure your background audio is on so that even when Animog isn't the app that's showing on the screen, you can hear the audio playing from it. So it's set to on. I'm going to go ahead and go back to my XY pad. Alright, so that's what you should hear from Beatmaker 2. So let's go back to Beatmaker 2. Let's go ahead and go lower. And that's Animog now. So you can record the MIDI data into Beatmaker 2 and it'll play back and trigger Animo. So let's go ahead and do that. Hit record. We'll stop that. Now we'll go to our sequencer. And you can see that it recorded the MIDI data. And there's our two notes that were recorded. Yeah, it's off beat. Demonstration on how to do what you need to do. Okay, I'm gonna actually go ahead and delete this, so we have no MIDI data in here. And what I want to show you is how to record MIDI data into Beatmaker 2 using the other app's interface. So what you want to do is actually load up the instrument so that you see it on screen and then go ahead and start a recording inside Beatmaker 2. Okay, I'm going to switch back over to Animog and now from Animog I'm going to trigger and it's going to record into Beatmaker 2. Beatmaker 2, 
stop the recording, go to the sequencer, and there you have the MIDI data. Go ahead and move this over here. I'll double click in there, and you can see all your MIDI notes. Go ahead and show you something else real quick. So since you can control a synth with a keyboard inside Beatmaker 2, let's go ahead and open up another keyboard. Empty preset. Now this beat or this keyboard here is controlling Animo. This one here I'm gonna have it control Sunriser. So let's put it on a different MIDI channel. MIDI channel 2. Okay, so I open it up. It's not triggering anything. Let's go ahead and load Sunriser. Okay. Okay, so now inside Sunriser, you have to go to the Utilities button up here. Go into Settings. And scroll down and you get to your MIDI settings. I already set it to Channel 2 for you. So it's on Channel 2. Go back a little bit. Uh, inputs, you want to make sure just Beatmaker 2 selected. Uh, receive MIDI clock is on. And you can close your utilities. You also want to make sure that you turn on your background audio for Sunriser. And that's not inside utilities. That's actually this button up here to the top left. Audio background. So now that it's on, you can go into Beatmaker 2 and control Sunriser. So let's go ahead and uh, record a little pattern real quick. I just wanted to show you how you could do it. So let's go into the sequencer. And there's the Sunriser data. Open up. And there you go. All right, there you have it. That's how you control other apps through MIDI inside Beatmaker 2. Peace. Thanks for watching.